And so here, to protect the dead, the Egyptians located the great necropolises, the royal tombs of ancient Egypt's new kingdom. The Valley of the Kings, the Valley of the Queens, the Valley of the Nobles. Men have been intrigued by the works of Egypt from before the time of the Greek historian Herodotus, who visited Egypt 2,500 years ago. Men are just as fascinated today and will be tomorrow. Some 40 years ago, scholars from the Oriental Institute came to this area to study the history and culture of ancient Egypt. Year after year, their work builds up the understanding of our heritage, which was and is here. This is the tomb of an Egyptian noble, Kerouef, who lived 3,300 years ago. This piece of delicately modeled bas-relief is part of a much larger scene that comes from a tomb in the Theban necropolis, the tomb of a man named Kerouef, who was the steward of the household of Queen T, the wife of Amenophis III, the mother of Akhenaten. And the inscription up above their heads indicates that they are caused to stand at the foot of the throne in front of the dais, the staircase, as this determinative of the word shows, on which the throne stands in the presence of the king and before them are actually depicted on the wall King Amenophis III, the goddess Hathor, and Queen T. Some years ago, the Oriental Institute and the Egyptian government unearthed this tomb. The Institute is now copying its inscriptions and reliefs. Such work is called epigraphy, and it is exacting, requiring the disciplines of the Egyptologist and the photographer and the artist. Thank you. 